Combining robotics and 3D printing, people are pushing the boundaries of their capabilities every day, and humanoid robots are a wonderful example of this. Humanoid robots are created to represent or simulate the appearance and actions of humans in various ways. Every day, experts work on developing new robotic systems, aiming to make them as lifelike as possible. Humanoid robots can walk, talk, gesture, and much more. They are suitable for various applications, including medicine and patient care. Today we will show you the most interesting and unusual models of humanoid robots that will amaze your imagination. Kenguro is a humanoid robot created by researchers from the University of Tokyo that can do more push-ups than anyone else. During its development, scientists focused mainly on its muscular capabilities. Strength is a significant challenge for robots with articulated joints. As the number of degrees of freedom and movement precision increases, their muscular force decreases. However, Kengoro doesn't face such an issue. It can do push-ups, engage in sports, run, and even play badminton. The robot doesn't require any remote control to perform these activities, as all its movements are independent. For example, while playing badminton, this humanoid executes all necessary movements, determine the shuttlecock's direction and moves accordingly at its own will. One of the secrets behind Kengoro's capabilities is its built-in cooling system, mimicking the human ability to regulate body temperature. During certain physical activities, the robot artificially sweats to cool its mechanism, allowing it to operate more efficiently and for a more extended period. Aspir V2 is an open-source 3D-printed humanoid robot that has a lot to talk about. In 2018, the first Aspir was released, an autonomous robot for support and positive inspiration, created by John Choi based on the Gala Ambassador robot. A year later, the second version Aspir V2 was introduced. Despite its childish dimensions, standing at 4 feet just over 1.2 meters tall and weighing only 30 pounds, about 13.5 kilograms, this robot operates using 22 motors. It is equipped with humanoid automation and stands out for its high maneuverability. Each leg is powered by six oversized servo motors, while each arm has four high torque standard servo motors. Additionally, each arm is equipped with five micro servo motors with metal gears. To top it off, the robot has two extra standard servo motors for the mechanisms controlling the tilt and rotation of the head. Each of the 90 components comprising the Aspir V2 body is 3D printed. The total printing time for all parts is approximately 300 hours. InMove is one of the oldest projects in the field of 3D printed robotics. Created by French sculptor and designer Gail Langevin, this robot initially served as a prosthetic hand. Its design underwent gradual changes and improvements, evolving into a life-size 3D printed robot. This model is truly impressive not only due to its size, but also because of its smooth, graceful gestures extending to the fingertips. Moreover, it is an open source project conceived as an educational platform for students, developers, and scientists. In fact, InMove became the first open source 3D printed prosthetic hand. InMove continues to be a favorite among developers worldwide. Each year it gains more capabilities. For instance, its design was recently improved by adding a computer vision system, improved mechanics, and legs. There is a world map that allows you to connect with InMove creators from all around the world. In 2019, the French company Pollen Robotics introduced its highly interactive robot Ricci, equipped with artificial intelligence. Ricci is a 3D printed robotic torso capable of playing tic-tac-toe or, for example, serving coffee. Its main purpose is intended for customer service applications. The robot has a charming appearance with animated antennae and a head featuring two eyes that can move, conveying emotions. Ricci's arms have a wide range of motion, roughly equivalent in size to an adult's arms, and can lift objects weighing up to 500 grams. Ramps. VR can be used to control the robot. Every part of Ricci is 3D printed. Additionally, Pollen Robotics has made its design open to allow anyone interested to contribute to the development of this robot. Ricci is available in various configurations, starting from the basic model with one arm and no head, and ranging to an advanced version with a head and two arms. You can even choose the design of the robot's shirt. The robot Atlas developed by Boston Dynamics is one of the most popular robots among internet users. However, only a few know that it is partially 3D printed. The model is based on an earlier humanoid robot Petman from Boston Dynamics and was initially designed for search and rescue missions. According to the manufacturer, Atlas was created to push the boundaries of whole body mobility. Its arms and legs are made using metal 3D printing, providing them with enough lightness and strength to perform gymnastic movements, which is the intended purpose of this robot. The initial versions of 
Atlas, developed in 2013, were purely mechanical. But in recent years, the capabilities of 3D printing with metals have reached such a high level that it became possible to produce functional parts for such agile robots. Not only are robots mass-produced using 3D printers, but a much more common process is the mass production of 3D printed robotic body parts. Esper Bionics has introduced a self-learning bionic hand prosthesis called Esper Hand with built-in artificial intelligence. It can autonomously identify muscle activity and predict the force and volume of intended movements. The robotic prosthesis is equipped with non-invasive sensors that read and process muscle activity and brain signals to trigger the desired movement in the prosthesis. Weighing just 380 grams. It is one of the lightest hand prostheses in the world, and its responsiveness is twice that of any other similar device. Information exchange between the device and the human brain occurs through the neurocomputer interface called Esper Control. Developers claim that the more intensively the user trains, the more accurately and quickly the smart hand understands repetitive motion algorithms and learns to anticipate them. Today there are more than 10 million people in the world with upper limb amputations. For most existing prosthetics, there is a weak cosmetic effect, and they do not always effectively replace all functions of the lost hand. The Esper hand prosthesis features intuitive control, regulated by artificial intelligence. The bionic hand has an elegant and natural anatomical design in five sizes. It is durable and functional, with five movable fingers and a flexible wrist, allowing the user to perform even the smallest everyday tasks. Clone Robotics continues to develop its latest innovation, a robotic arm created with meticulous attention to detail to closely resemble a human limb. It is equipped with muscles covered in synthetic skin, which are essentially mesh tubes containing air-filled balls. To contract the muscles longitudinally, an external pneumatic or hydraulic pump is used, inflating the ball and causing it to expand. However, the developers decide to avoid creating a bulky pump, aiming for a design where an electric current can be applied to induce contraction. Instead, they filled the balls with liquid, acetaldehyde, and embedded a heating element in them. Applying an electric current to the heating element causes the liquid to boil, increasing the pressure inside the ball by more than six times, allowing the muscle to contract impressively fast, as noted by the developers. The prototype of the arm is covered with transparent skin, providing visibility of muscle movement. The arm skeleton consists of artificial bones, resembling human bones and equipped with hinge joints to ensure a range of motion that closely mimics human capabilities. Developers report approximately 27 degrees of freedom, allowing the arm to naturally move the wrist, rotate the thumb, and perform other motions. During testing, the arm was even able to lift a dumbbell. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you next time.